I mentioned in my five things about my day yesterday that I had finished this book, Teach Like a Pirate by Dave Burgess. Uh, and I just wanted to talk briefly about it. So this book is a, by a guy who is a teacher in California. And he talks about a technique he uses to engage his students. It is teaching like a pirate, where pirate is an anagram. So it is, hold on, I have to remember. Passion, immersion, rapport, ask and analyze, transformation, and enthusiasm. And so he talks about how he changes his classroom, how he dresses up, how he engages with his students, what he does to teach history, to make it more interesting, and therefore make the students hopefully learn uh, in a different way rather than making school a chore. Now, one of the interesting things he talks about is something that I have found is a problem broadly in education, not like specifically teacher to teacher, but just broadly, which is that a lot of times people are teaching to the standardized test. Now, this is something that we've created in our world because the standardized test is how a school gets money. So they need to do well on the standardized test in order to get money. Uh, and so we're trying to teach this test, which A, is not very encouraging to students. B, is not necessarily as applicable in the outside world as something like what he's doing here with his pirate technique. Uh, and C, it's just like, weighs down on the creativity of the teachers and of the students. And I think it's a bummer. So I enjoyed this book. I think that this technique is a really good idea. I was talking to my mom about it and she mentioned that something like that would help someone like me learn because I like to be engaged in that sort of way and it would help me remember, but it wouldn't necessarily help other people remember. They would maybe remember, oh yeah, we did that fun thing because we were talking about going to the moon and we got to like lay down and turn the classroom into a planetarium, but I don't really remember anything about us going to the moon. When did that happen? I don't know. And I understand that idea, but I firmly believe that those kids who remember the activity but don't necessarily remember the facts wouldn't have remembered the facts even if I drilled them into them and made them write them down over and over and over. And clearly you couple these activities with some structured classroom learning where people are doing specific things. And so it's a mixture. So you do some sort of physical activity, but you also do book learning and you also do lecture and it all wraps together. And hopefully that way you're covering all of the different ways that people learn and helping the most amount of people. But one big thing that I firmly believe about this, and it's one of the things that I felt very passionately about as I was reading, was that school should be fun. I loved school. I am an academic person. I would go back to college if I won the lottery and just stay there. I like to learn new things. I'm really into it, but not everybody loves school because not everybody loves to learn new things. But something like this is fun. And the kids who aren't going to get it probably aren't going to get it. So I don't see a reason why they shouldn't at least be enjoying their time because the kids who don't get it then feel like they don't get it they don't do well on tests and then everything sort of snowballs into this big ball of just i'm a failure and that's really unfortunate when it could be a ball you're tossing up and down and having a lot of fun with because the class is very enjoyable and maybe you are still not getting the facts but it doesn't matter because you're having a very good time. You like coming to school. And I firmly believe that if you want to come to school and you want to be in the class because it's fun, you will engage your brain and you will learn more. Even if that's not necessarily how you learn, even if an interactive activity doesn't really help you in particular learn facts, I think that an engaged brain absorbs more in general. I know a lot more about the things that I found exciting than the things that I didn't find exciting even years later when I've forgotten a lot of facts and figures. And certainly when I encounter things in real life, things that are exciting to me, I find interesting and am engaged by and remember a lot more than things and facts and figures that are just sort of thrown at me. And so I think that something like this could really, really help in a lot of schools 
clearly there is the issue that you have to teach to the curriculum. There's certain things that you have to cover. And he talks a lot about that and fighting against it. And I understand how that works, but I really wish that our public school system was a little bit more like this book. And in fact, most of the teachers that I personally remember and I like were more like this guy here. And I just think that being engaging and enthusiastic and passionate and bringing fun into the classroom is never a bad thing. Because at the end of the day, kids either graduate or they don't. But if they had a good time, then maybe they will take something away from the experience. Versus if they don't do well and they have a bad time, then they're just gonna hate school. And that could lead to hating learning later in life. And let's be real, did US history necessarily help me a lot in my current job? No, not really. The stuff I learned in high school, I probably didn't actually need because it's not the facts and figures and the things that they test you on on standardized tests that actually matter. It's skills that you learn. And that's part of what his teaching method is, is so he teaches the students how to engage with each other, how to learn from each other, how to collaborate, how to communicate, how to debate, how to see things from the other side. Those are the skills that you need. You do not need to know dates, times, facts, and figures for all of these events in history, unless that's what you're gonna end up doing. And I think that that's the main problem, is that standardized testing does not test real world applicable skills. And as a result, teachers are not teaching real world applicable skills. They are instead teaching rote memorization for the tests. Anyway, that's my little soapbox. I'll step down now. Just really felt like ranting about that. School is something I'm passionate about because I loved it so much. And if you agree or if you disagree, because I am always interested in an interesting debate, please leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on the public school system and the idea of teaching like a pirate versus teaching facts and figures. Let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.